Insectary plants are plants that attract insects either by producing abundant flowers with pollen and nectar for beneficial insects or by luring insects pass away from the cash crop. This video showcases various approaches to use insectary plants or settings to attract beneficial arthropods into different agroecosystems in Hawaii. Taro production in Hawaii is often challenged by various arthropod pests with sucking mouth parts that will cause intervenous chlorosis. Spider mites have started like mouth parts that cause white patches on the leaf wings. Adults are red and produce messy web across the leaf surface. Don't confuse predatory mites with spider mites. This is a predator of spider mites. Predatory mites are bigger and faster runner than spider mites and are usually in teardrop shape. Another predator of spider mite is a tiny lady beetle known as Stetorus. The adult is only 1 mm long. Both the adult and larva of Stetorus prefer to feed on mites. Another major pest of taro is aphid. Aphid has piercing and sucking mouth part. Their damage on taro is a major concern if they carry dashing mosaic virus. When taro is grown in aquatic system, lacewing is a common visitor of taro. Lacewing, adult and larvae can prey on aphids. They can be an efficient predator if not disturbed by insecticide. One way to introduce insectary plant into taro loi to attract predators is by planting insectary plants such as buckwheat in a floating raft. Buckwheat flower attract hoverflies. Hoverflies females like to lay eggs near the aphids colony. When they hatch, the larva will feed on the aphids. You can also plant buckwheat as a border crop along the bank of the loi. And marigold is another insectary plant that can attract lady beetles. Marigold flower attract aphids and trips. Indirectly, marigold is attracting lady beetles due to the presence of their prey insects. For example, a yellow shoulder lady beetle are found here. Scarlet milkweed is an ornamental bush that is attractive to yellow aphids. High population of yellow aphids draw parasitoid wasps to the plants. The parasitoid lay eggs inside the aphids and mummify the aphids. The parasitoid emerge from the mummified aphids by making an exit hole. Therefore, planting milkweed nearby a terroloe would draw aphids parasitoids to the ecosystem. Taro leaf hopper are more common on taro during the dry summer. They suck the sap out of the taro leaves and cause reddish crush on the leaves. Since taro leaf hopper only feed on taro, it is difficult to install insectary plants to manage this pest. One predator of taro leaf hopper, Merit box, was introduced to Hawaii and other Pacific Islands and are commonly found in leaf hopper infested taro field as shown in this picture. Rose beetle is also a devastating pest on taro and broad range of crops. Rose beetle is nocturnal, thus it is also difficult to set up insectary plants to manage rose beetle. However, a solar panel night light and red bowl filled with soapy water set up next to the crop canopy could trap significant amount of rose beetle. Onion trip is a major insect pest of onion in Hawaii throughout the year. Their feeding causes longitudinal silvery streaking or blotching. Trips damage is even more devastating if trips transmit Irish yellow spot virus, which was reported in Hawaii in 2010. Trips damage symptom is different from leaf minor damage with winding trails on the leaves. Leaf minor population outbreak often occur as a result of pro-spectrum insecticide application, which destroy their natural enemies. It is important to know that although the eggs, insta and adults of trips are associated with onion foliage, part of the trips life cycle are pupate in the ground. Therefore, designing insectary setting to manage trips on onion should aim on attracting foliar and soil dwelling predators. Generalist predators such as spiders can be enhanced in onion cropping system by planting cover crop and mold it down as surface organic mulch. Surrounding the cropping area with cowpea or buckwheat insectary plants could further attract other natural enemies that can prey on trips and leaf miners. Onion aphids can sometimes be a problem on green onion. Cowpea as an insectary border act as a trap crop for aphids while attracting lady beetle to the onion cropping system. 
onion grown in a thick patch of surface organic mulch not only can suppress arthropod pests, enhance natural enemies, but can also suppress weeds, increase soil organic matter, and maintain soil moisture, thus provide a healthy agroecosystem. Mm-hmm.